welcome. I'm Bonnie Saratori with Spiritual Acceleration. This is the energy update for June. Okay, so the June energy frequency, when I track into it, getting a sense of what does it mean for us human beings? And it has a frequency of what we call for, I'm just going to label it forcing. Okay, <laughs> when we think about forcing, okay, what I think about when I feel like, you know, forcing, that means something to be pushing making something happen okay so okay so some of you might, might like this some of you may not right so remember this whole time period that we are in is really all about the shifting of the ages the frequency of the new paradigm and waking up what it means is in order to step into the new paradigm you have to be at a certain level of frequency that means you can't be holding on to all your baggage your debris your wounding your victimization all that angst within okay so the forcing frequency in june it has to do with not just the frequency of the new paradigm which is shining pretty strong but also the alignment of different energies you know moon cycles and different planets you know how energies we are affected a lot like for example the full moon some people are severely affected by the full moon all right so all of humanity is going to be affected globally so it doesn't matter where you live there won't be anywhere to go and hide even if you go into a cave it's not going to work okay the energies are going to find you so here's what's up you're going to be forced in some way to look at some places you haven't been willing to look at now when you're asleep and you you have no clue you're going to feel like you're being victimized poor me why is this happening i'm being judged or you know i'm not loved or you know whatever those stories we tell ourselves or you tell yourself i'm not telling myself the same stories anymore thank goodness uh, but basically if either you're gonna move into come into these really deep feeling places or you're gonna keep re resisting like most of you have been doing your entire lives, okay? So here's the thing about our souls and the soul dancing we do and how the soul is literally, how your higher levels, these, these aspects of you, it's you, it's not somebody else, it's not some divine being, it's not some messiah, it's not some teacher, you know? No, you, you have aspects of you that are not in your physical body, that are orchestrating your life, okay? So next time you wanna get mad at God or blame somebody for what you're experiencing, just go direct to your own higher levels because that's who's bringing it to you, all right? So your higher levels will be working with other higher levels to provide you the opportunity to face different places within, okay? Now, we don't know what that's going to look like, but I guarantee you, whatever you're still trying to unravel, whatever you are still suffering with or struggling with, you know, it can be feelings of insecurities, and that's going to look a lot of different ways, instabilities, okay, finances, relationships. It can be affecting, you know, what you're experiencing can be affecting everything. If you're, if you're locked down, then you can't make anything happen. Okay. Or you might be saying, yes, I want more money. My finances are, I'm struggling. I want more money. I want relationship. I want love. I want recognition. And if you've got blockages in the heart, you know, seriously, like covering up that heart chakra where your energy's like got barriers or walls to receive, I don't care what you do, you're not going to receive until you can actually physically feel the sensations within you where you can say, oh, yes, I can receive. So if someone can pay you a compliment. Can you receive it? Someone wants to acknowledge you. Can you receive it? You know, someone wants to give you a gift. Can you receive it? Okay, pay attention. Pay attention to what that feels like. Pay attention to how you're blocking it, you know, or, or, or deflecting. Oh, no. Oh, no. You know, you know. You know, so what's happening is that forcing energy. See, you've all been given opportunities 
for a while now, years actually. And because of the intensity of the new paradigm, we are being squeezed. Okay, this is why you're seeing what's happening out in the world gets ugly. Okay, we got death, we got starvation, we've got, you know, all kinds of hatreds happening, judgments happening, people dying happening, all kinds of things are happening. Okay, it's going to keep going, get even worse. Okay, but here's the thing if you do your inner work, then you'll be able to ride through these times much more easily than you know, than most people. And having awarenesses, having understanding is also going to help you get through all these times that we're in and also what's coming, okay? So there's a lot coming. You know that. You can feel it, okay? Some of you can sense energy. You know some big stuff's coming. So in the forcing, I know it sounds like a really intense word, like you're being forced, but here's the thing. You know, it's like we're we're pretty difficult to get to get our lessons, okay? Like I just for an example, okay, when 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 I was supposed to make some changes or something I was supposed to, you know, like wake up on something or heal something, and I can feel like there's something I but I just can't find it. You know, I'm doing my best, okay? But what happens is higher levels gonna step right in and they're gonna do something that really activates this wounding, okay? So, you know, for me, it, it changed my whole life. You know, I lived, I lived in Colorado and I moved across the entire state all the way over to, you know, to the East Coast. And it was because of that seeking. And also, you know, they, it's like, um, they killed my dog, talked to my higher levels, you know, killed my dog, sucker punched me, you know, but that's what got me going. And then I knew to, you know, I got that drop in knowing drive. So it, that changed my whole world, brought me to different places, major transformations have happened. But I just want to say, you know, resisting <laughs> is futile. Don't even bother. Okay. You got faces to place. You get, you're being presented with something. Go through however that makes you feel so that you can know thyself in your emotions, in these feeling states. The soul understands, gets the lesson, and then you don't have to do that same lesson again. You got it, okay? But what's happening is, of course, none of us remember. And then when we go start things happen, we just want to resist. We want to blame. We want to claim victim. Poor me. I'm being punished. I'm not loved. <laughs> All the things we do because we don't want to go through. We don't want to face what's within. So June going to be kicking butt okay your higher levels are kicking gears they're amping up new paradigm is happening lights getting brighter shining more more light onto the dark places those unconscious places in the, in the, in your subconscious uh they're all getting activated lit up okay so more things are going to be happening this month for you personally more things are going to activate that wound like okay you know i feel like because if you're feeling like you know, let's just go with finances. That seems to be a big one for many, many people. So, you know, you have all these worries about finances. How am I going to pay my rent? How am I going to buy food? How am I going to, you know, take care of my kids, my family, whatever, whatever. Okay? I, I know those stresses. I lived them. Okay. So in that, what you're being asked is stop whining about it. Come in and feel. How's it making you feel? This is why it's happening. Okay. You've got it anchored in from past lives, stuff around money, around receiving money, having enough money to care for self. You might have survival um, stuff anchored in your, your subconscious. You might have had lifetimes where you, you were starving and you got the, those emotions anchored in. You might have times where you couldn't care for yourself or your family in the stress of that, the pain of that, the, the emotional pain of that is anchored into your subconscious. All this stuff gets carried over and you're going to be facing the same issues until you come in and feel how it makes you feel. Okay. It's as simple as that people. All right. So when you're being, when that the forcing is happening, you're going to be forced into places that you're very familiar with, but this time, if you can, rather than going into, Oh, poor me, what am I going to do? Stress, worry, fear, anxiety, 
suffer, suffer, and you just keep worry, 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 worry. If you stop and remember, oh, I'm literally being asked to come in and feel and face these emotions. How does it make me feel? What am I feeling? What am I experiencing? What is this like? Okay. But you got to drop the story, come into the emotions and surrender to those emotions fully. So you know yourself in this experience and the emotions of that experience. It is the emotions from past lives that are being carried over that are causing you to recreate scenarios that will make you feel the same way so that you can finally stay in the body, stay present, stay conscious, go through these emotions fully so you know them and then you can be done. Okay? It's simple, simple. All right? So the forcing is going to happen. It's going to happen. All right? You're going to be pushed, pushed. Okay? So if you can, remember, all right, whenever you're going through something, let's go back to finances. Okay? I remember in my life, Spinning, spinning, spinning. How am I going to pay that? What am I going to do? Maybe I should get a different job. Da 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 da. Okay, I'm in my fucking mind trying to figure it out. Okay, you guys, this is way back. Okay, <laughs> this is back in the late seventies, early eighties. Okay, I didn't know what I know now. And but what we're being asked to is like rather than spinning that story, you you've been you're activated. You're you're in it. Okay, the emotions are there. So drop into the emotions, okay? So let's just say you've got the fear, okay? I don't have money. I'm not, I don't, you know, how am I going to, how am I going to make it? How am I going to make it? How does that make you feel? Okay, you might feel a sense of maybe hopelessness, okay? Helplessness, okay? All of those have an emotion, all right? You might have a feeling like distraught, you know, like you're so you're concerned that you're not going to provide for your family. Okay, how does that make you feel? Okay. For some of you, it might feel like you're a failure. What's it feel like to be a failure? What's the emotion in being a failure? Okay. My point is people go after the emotion, know the emotion. And in doing so, you can literally pop out the other side and look, oh, all of a sudden things start to present. Okay. So people, it's really important you understand your subconscious is like a magnet. Not only a magnet, but it's also sending out frequencies, okay, energy, to attract the perfect energy that's going to make you feel the same feelings that you've been feeling all your life but not going into. The same feelings that you got carried over from past lives, okay? So, you're going to be triggered, you're going to be squeezed, you're going to get activated. Okay, but don't be going into that poor me, that victim state of consciousness. Just, you know, it's like, wake up, okay? There's so much more happening than what your little mind is aware of, okay? We're much greater than these little human bodies running around freaking out because life isn't doing what we want, okay? So you have these higher levels. You have these aspects of you that are directing things, pulling things together, the perfect situations to activate you, and now it's going to be to force you to face what you haven't been willing to face, okay? You know, in my way of thinking, <laughs> I'd rather not be forced. I'd rather do my inner work. It's like, oh, I feel it. I got it. Yep, I'm going in, coming in, feeling this stuff, surrendering to it so I can be done. Now, you know, it's like, it's a journey, you know, the unraveling is a journey. It takes takes journey, takes time. But each piece you get, something good happens and your life gets brighter and lighter and more good things happen. Okay. So, you know, it's like that's the reason I keep going and have kept going is because life changes. It constantly changes. And every time I deepen within myself, I feel more, more grounded here. I feel more alive. I feel more like, oh, yeah, I really do want to be here. Okay. Oh, yeah, this is a pretty cool place. And it's not about the, the, the peoples. The world is an awesome place. It's the interactions with other that causes all the angst, okay? But, and this is cool, as we get clearer and clearer and clearer, our attachments, our judgments, 
our fault finding, our excuses, our blaming, everything changes so that you start to come to a place where you're no longer in resistance to what is and you start to realize that, oh, my life is divinely guided, you know, and things are happening, you know, you know, to help me wake up, help me be liberated, help me share the gift of me. That's what we're here to do. And everything is about the soul evolving. Okay. So as we, as we clear more and more, we have more compassion. We have more understanding. We stop the blame game. We stop resisting. You know, it's like there's a relaxing into life knowing that there is a divine plan and it's, it's happening and we're not going to change it or stop it. So we might as well, you know, flow in the river of that, that divine plan. And in doing so, it's like, as we're, when we're no longer resisting, now we're actually flowing in a way that we can navigate around places. We see things more clearly. We don't go down the same trashed road that's going to ruin our car. Okay. You know, we go, oh, ah, 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 not going down that road. Okay. So it's like we start to do things and behave in ways that feed us, that support us, that are no longer undermining ourselves. That's another thing. When you got these carryovers, you're going to have beliefs in there that there's something wrong with you. You don't deserve. You deserve to be punished. You deserve to suffer. So you'll be doing things to yourself. Okay. Don't, don't even worry about anybody else. You'll handle it. You'll make sure you suffer more than anybody makes you suffer. Okay. So <clears throat> being aware that the month of June is going to bring you many opportunities forcing you into many opportunities to shift and change, to face yourself. And you might as well just take the ride, surrender into it, relax into it. And, um, you know, the whole resistance thing is major, you know, like we resist, don't want, don't like, resist, fight, fight, fight. Let go of all resistance, surrender, and life changes. Okay, okay? but you can't do that if you got this wounding and misperceptions and beliefs, conclusions in your subconscious. You can't do that if you have all this massive uh, emotional suffering, emotional pain, angst that you've carried over from past lives that you haven't unraveled yet, okay? This is why you're creating your life the way that you are, okay? Remember, okay, your subconscious, you're drawing to you, you're echoing out frequencies, you're drawing, you know, energy to you. So remember, whatever's in your subconscious, that's what's going to be revealed. That's, what's, that's what you're going to live. That's what you will experience. So you'll know how clear you are by what you're living. What are you experiencing? Do you feel abundant? Do you feel joy? Do you feel happy? Do you feel fulfilled? Do you feel like you belong? Do you feel safe? Okay. What's your life looking at? It's going to clearly show you what you believe you deserve in your subconscious. Okay. So June, forcing. It's going to be good. Forcing you to take action. Forcing you to face yourself. Forcing you. Now, go ahead and don't do it, but you'll have greater suffering. Okay? Personally, I kind of like to be done with the whole suffering thing. <laughs> I'm thinking most people would. The truth is, people want to be happy. Okay? That's the bottom line. So we actually do have cool things supporting these times in June. So on the 14th of June, um, we've got from criticism to praise. And then on June 19th, uh, Sarah, one of our accelerators, is going to be doing a, clear, a group clearing. It's called Empowering the Empath, okay? And then June 28th, uh, we're, I'm going to be doing a clearing on the dark force energy drain, okay? So as you, many of you know, the powers of darkness uh, can be causing havoc in one's life. But it's also important to realize that, that the powers of darkness are not going to do anything with you unless unless you have already enlisted them, okay? That means past lives, you've, you've done something, you've conjured, you've, you know, done voodoo, black magic, sorcery, wizardry, black, you know, white, uh, witchcraft, all kinds of things, Satanism. You've opened those doors, okay? This is why things are happening. That's it, bottom line. Powers of darkness cannot touch you if you haven't opened those doors on some level, okay? So let's do a quick activation for June. And again, the forcing. So, you know, listen to this or don't listen to it, but I'm going to activate the force. I'm going to activate your subconscious. I'm going to activate 
the energy frequencies in that subconscious that need to come to the surface. Okay. So just coming in, in, in to the subconscious. I'm going to actually go on down to that first and second chakra as well. I'm going to be blasting first and second chakra. And I'm going to go into the subconscious and I'm going to be activating these deeper subconscious wounds that are carried over so that you can get through it. So that they'll come to awareness, move through it, relax into it, face it, surrender, and let, let it move, let, let go, okay? And be freer and clearer, all right? So just coming on into the subconscious, I'm going into the deepest recesses, the black energy in the subconscious, and we're we'll bringing in the white flame. We're going to be using that white flame to literally activate it. Activate it, wake it up, make it, mm -hmm, make, yeah, wake it up. White flame, white flame, white flame, expanding, expanding, blasting, blasting, blasting. There we go. Now in the first, second chakra, white flame, white flame, white flame, activating these deep unconscious places that need to be brought to the surface so that it can be unraveled, forcing these energies of the energy frequency of June. White flame, white flame, white flame, flame, white flame, white flame. There we go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Activation happening. All righty. Let's see how this unravels in your life. 